Hey guys, just Sophie here. So as I said previously, I am a third year medical science student. So on my first day of medical science, I remember being handed a reading list and it was really long and I kind of panicked thinking, oh my God, am I meant to buy all these books and thinking how expensive it was going to be and how I'd have no student loan left. So what I kind of want to do today for you guys is kind of show you what books I found the most helpful in my first year. So, um, in your first year of medical science, there's a big push on anatomy and physiology. So, you know, just the overall anatomy of the systems of the body. So, for this, the book I find most helpful is Totora, Principles of Anatomy and Physiology. So, the, this comes in uh, two volumes and you have a little atlas as well. So, it's really big as well if I just kind of open it up. So, ooh, lovely. So, you know, it's a lot of pictures, a lot of diagrams, but there's quite a bit of text as well. So, I find it's really useful for the pictures. There can be quite a lot of text, but I found this really helpful on my weekly test that we had for this class. So, especially in my MSK module, so the musculoskeletal system, um, it was really helpful, but I could also use it in other classes, such as my biochemistry modules. So, this is a must. This should be top of your list. Uh, this was literally our Bible, so totally recommend that. Um, for the same module, for, again, for MSK, which has changed slightly now, so it's all integrated in to give you a full kind of clinical problem-based learning aspect, but I would still totally recommend the basic biomechanics of the musculoskeletal system. So, um, in this, our lecturer actually took images from this book, and you know, taught us uh, the syllabus was kind of based on this book, so it was absolutely so helpful. Um, I know a lot of people hate graphs. Personally, I love them. I I learn quite well from a graph. So this book was absolutely brilliant, and it comes with loads of very neat and helpful diagrams as well. But also, it's very clean and concise. So I mean, there is quite a bit of text, but as you can see, you've got a graph, and you've got a nice bit of information about it, and it's just really clearly laid out. So, around midterms, I swore by this book, and I think a lot of my grades had to do with working so hard in this book. Um, there's a book as well that will help you, not only just through medical science, but through your postgraduate med medical degree as well. And this is the Guyton Hall Book of Medical Physiology. It is massive. This is like the whole of the degree in this book though. So when you open it, so first and foremost, we have cardiac contraction, you know, so looking at the heart and whatnot. Um, so again, lots of graphs as well. So I'll just put it a bit closer. It's quite a lot of text, um, but I think as well, this gives the best information. So, Again, very clear and concise diagrams as well, um, a lot of information. I'd absolutely swear by this book, I've been able to use it for pretty much every single module I've had, and I know as well that it will take me through to my other career, and you know, through my other degrees. Uh, this book was around about £40, I believe, so all the ones I've shown today have been around that kind of mark, with an exception to this book, which I think cost a little bit less. Um, so it kind of depends, you know, what kind of learner you are. So I'm not very visual. I tend to uh, copy up notes. So that's how I tend to learn. However, if you are visual in any way, um, anatomy is quite difficult to learn. Um, I actually have in uh, another room in my house a big skeleton, which, you know, was really helpful. It was in my room, but it kind of watched me in the night. So, yeah, I kind of um, put it in a spare room. My niece and nephews don't thank me when they stay over, though. I have to put, like, a jacket over his head. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what I would recommend, I know the lecturers really recommend as well, is getting a colouring book. So this isn't just, like, a colouring book for adults, although it is quite, quite fun. Um, so this one, you can kind of, like, colour in pictures based on areas. So you do, you know, circulation one colour or you know, nerves another colour, so as you can see, so you've got all different areas here and you've got a description of what it does as well. Um, I've tried a few different colouring books, I found this one the most helpful, so this is Grey's Anatomy, really good as well, you can get very good flashcards in Grey's Anatomy as well, also there are textbooks as well, but they are, they're very big with a lot and a lot of small text, so it just depends kind of where you think your strengths are and if you can literally stare at a book for 10 hours a day. 
I tend to, you know, go for, you know, these kind of books. I mean, there's a lot of writing, but I do like the odd diagram, especially if it's annotated well. And I know in uni, the lecturers do like their diagrams as well. A lot of people learn really well from them. So it just depends on your learning technique. The best advice I can give you is when you get your reading list, go into the university library, so we should have all the books on that list, and kind of go through them for each um, subject. So, for example, if you looked at, you know, for anatomy, you'd see these books and you'd be like, okay, out of all these books, I think I learned the best from this one or this one. And you can just get that one book. Don't make the mistake I did in buying like six anatomy books in my first year. I didn't use them all. There's about one or two that I really, really cherished. And with these books, I've, you know, I owe a lot of my marks to them. But at the end of the day, get the books if you're going to read them. You can also, you know, just take them out of the library. You don't necessarily have to buy them. Personally, I like to have copies. And when you get to uni as well, there are alumni pages for medical science. So I definitely recommend joining this group. And you see previous students selling their books for cheaper prices. So I've bought books from previous students before and they've been in really con good condition. So I'd recommend that as well. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask me or any of the Insights Ambassadors as well. And I hope you really enjoy coming to university. Thanks, guys.